Good evening, everyone. My name is Miguel Fuentes, and today is Wednesday, uh, November the 4th, after Election Day. Man, it's been a really tough Election Day. Uh, I did not vote because I believe that God is, well, we, as kingdom of God, we are in a heavenly monarchy. monarchy. And so, you know, to, for me to vote, it just says, you know, you know, being involved in the world, and I try not to be involved in the world as much as possible. Even though, you know, either you know, I mean, I'm 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 big on um, whoever who whoever's gonna be the next president, and I'm just gonna pray for them, and I'm gonna pray for my governor and senators um, to to make the right choice um, according to the biblical scripture. And I hope you guys have uh, your communion elements as well, uh, the cracker or piece of bread. And I got a, uh, uh, what's it called, a uh, Good Area Zero uh, fruit punch flavored, you know, for communion. And uh, today we're going to be continuing on a series on sephronology and we're going to be covering the non-venomous snakes. And I'm going to be using this uh, field guide to North America reptiles and amphibians. And uh, this this book has been really uh, awesome. We got some pictures, which I'll show you uh, once 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 it comes. So yeah, and th there's some species of non venomous snakes that are abroad, so I won't be having. All that stuff. I uh, was showing you some, you know, what we have in America. So, anyway, so before we get started, let's pray. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for today. Lord, we we ask that you would come and and, uh, and Lord help us, Lord, to study uh, what you you know study about your creation, Lord. Lord, you created snakes, Lord. Um, even through your creation, Lord, you created all creeping things, and that uh, you created. Uh, by their kinds, Lord, and by their own species, Lord. Lord, we believe that you created all things. And, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, um, just, to, just to review, just a, <coughs> just to review just a little bit, <clears throat> um, what is serpentology? Serpentology is a branch of zoology that studies snakes. Now, herpetology is the branch of zoology that deals with uh, creeping things like uh, amphibians and reptiles. And so we're going to be uh, we're we're going to be doing the non-venomous snakes today, and then next week we're getting into uh, venomous snakes, which I am. Excited. However, I would not include the rear fang, uh, rear fang snakes yet. I'll go put that aside to the venomous snake uh, department because uh, again, they do have fangs, and so I, 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 I gotta keep it separate. So even though they're on the non-venomous to the non-venomous snake side, I'm just gonna keep it. Into the venomous snake category. So all non-venomous snakes uses constrictions to kill their prey. Uh, we're gonna get into a lot of different families, and some of these families are from different regions of the world. For example, we have the uh, the wart snakes family, which include wart snakes, Java wart snakes, file snakes. And even elephant trunk snakes, or you can call them dog face snakes as well. There are currently three species, and all of the you know, and all of them are aquatic of some sort. You can find these in Western India, to uh, um, to uh, uh, throughout tropical uh, Southeastern Asia, to the Philippines, South in the uh, Indonesian islands to Tamar, uh, east through New Guinea to north coast of Australia. 
uh, species are the little wart snake and the elephant trunk snake. The false coal, sorry, the false coal snake family. Uh, these are also known as uh, South American red pipe snakes. They're only found in South uh, South America. Uh, we got the dwarf pipe snakes uh, family. They're three species. They eat small vertebrates as their diet. And their uh, species are the uh, Lars pipe snakes, Red Boars pipe snakes, and the mountain in the mountain uh, pipe snakes. Boars, uh, boars family is pretty pretty um, intense, uh, and uh, the world's largest snake in the boar family. Is the green anaconda? Yes, the anaconda belongs to the boa family. Uh, most species are found in North, Central, and South America. Few found in Southeastern Europe, some found in Asia Minor, North, Central, and East Africa, and also in the, uh, in the uh, uh, Arabian Peninsula. And uh, southwestern Asia, there, there's only five sub subfamilies. There are the true boars, which has uh, 32 species. The cobra boars, one species. The bivo uh, nose boars, forgot to write down the uh, the species, and uh, so forth and so forth. Uh, these examples are. Uh, the red tree boa, the carib, sorry, the uh, the uh, um, gosh, what that country? Uh, Colombian uh, boas, uh, Amazon basin emerald tree boas, rainbow boas, green anaconda, yellow, yellow anacondas, as well. Um. The split jaw snakes family, the only found in uh how pronounce his name uh Men Menonis, uh what is called the round uh, the round island boring boys. And let's get into the typical snake family, uh which is the largest non venomous snake family that you can find. Uh which I'll Make sure I include in this uh, this thing right here. So this is the largest family because there's a lot of genus and there's a, more over a thousand species or kinds of these snakes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of these typical snakes that are in that family. So, we got the, uh, yeah, okay, so this here is the Plains Blackhead Snake. You can see, you can see the black head right there. That, that's how you identify. Uh, so, some snakes are different than the others. Uh, I like this one. This is the um, the pine wood snake. If yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but it's right here. This snake is pretty interesting because it really blends into the dead wood around their local areas. Um, trying to see here. <clears throat> now this is the western earth snake, which belongs to the the families of uh, typical snakes. Uh, the southern black racer, right here, pretty awesome color. This is the smooth green snake. Okay. Uh, this is the rough green snake, right down in the middle. So it's 
different between these two snakes. Um, let's see what else. This is the green uh, rat snake. It's the green rat snake. If you can see it. Um, now many many people are confused with water snakes and water moccasins or conmouths. Uh, what I would be making. Again, a venomous snake video next week, uh, but they they confuse with um, uh, with conmouths because they live in water, but but uh, conmouths are more semi aquatic, so they they may live in uh, maybe like a stream or or a side of a river or a swamp swampy area. But this is a uh, this is a yellow bellied water snake, so you know, it may looks like a cottonmouth, but it's not. It's really not. Um, this is the eastern, yeah. This is the eastern hog nose snake. Uh, a lot of people killed it because it looks like cobra, but it's not. Uh, the amazing fact about these uh, species is that they can play dead. Which is pretty pretty cool as a defense mechanism. This is the northern black racer down here. So I like this black color. And uh, I don't know if I've seen these before, but I couldn't I couldn't remember. This is a black king snake. Still belong to the typical snakes. Uh, this is the Eastern Indigo Snake, which is one of my favorite snakes because I love I love how the skin looks. Pretty awesome color. I like this pattern from this Eastern Mud Snakes. Uh, look how, how look how beautiful this is. Yeah, it's almost like a reddish, blackish type of uh, you don't want those tic tac toe colorations. Pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And God, <clears throat> and basically, God created all these creatures. Um. This is a southern uh, ring neck snake. Okay, love this coloration. I love how. Beautiful that re neck is. Um, I'm trying to look for it in North Carolina, but I'm going to find some. Um. <clears throat> Let's see what else I can show you. Oh, I like this one. This is a blue striped rainbow snake. So all these snake species have different names because of either the coloration or what they or what habits are. Um, oh, I like this. This is a trans P.O.'s rat snake. Look how this color is. This is almost look like a almost like a rattlesnake coloration, but it's not. It's just how they are adapted to. Uh, this is pretty good for uh, in the desert, you know, hunting rats and stuff with their colorations. Um, let's see. Um, This is a uh, this is a eastern garden uh, eastern garden snake, pretty harmless. But now, you gotta remember that all all of the non-venomous snake species have teeth. 
Uh, so be cautious if you're going to do herping or any other, uh, you know, handling snakes, uh, hiring snakes as pets. They do have teeth. Sadly enough, um, I wish they don't have teeth so that we don't worry about, I mean, it, it can bite, but not going to be as painful as when they have teeth. And it's painful. I did not get bit by a non-venomous snake, but I came close to it. Okay, this is a brown snake. I think I saw this at my one of my job sites. It, it probably is dead, but I've recognized this coloration and pattern as well because it's not only it's small, but it's amazing. It totally is amazing. I like that snake. Uh, this is the banded water snake. I can, I, uh, as you can tell, is more. Almost like a copperhead, but it's not. Oh, well, not copperhead. Uh, cod mouth, but it's not. So, let's see what else. This is the Western Coach Whoop snake. So, um, let's see here. Oh, I like this. This is a Eastern Fox Snake. Eastern Fox Snake. Pretty awesome coloring. I love I love the color of that of that snake. Um and what else? And I definitely will show you the difference between the patterns of a venomous snake and a non venomous snakes. Because people oftentimes confuse it with venomous snakes but it's not so to be a herpetologist here's a uh, corn snake to be a herpetologist or a serpentologist or a zoologist you really need to be good at uh, identifying the different species uh, because they so some snakes look venomous some snakes are not uh, this is a bull, a bull snake, another typical snakes. So all these snakes all belong to the typical snakes, as I mentioned. And there is a difference between non-venomous snakes and venomous snakes. However, ooh, I like this Eastern King snake. Look, I love the preparations. Now here's where the tricky part is. Ready? We have here a scarlet snake. And we look closely. You see the red, yellow, and black coin. And a lot of people mistaken it as a core snake, which I'll show you which I'll show you in a minute. Um I love this gray banded king snake, man. It's I love I love the the coloration of the snake, man. It's pretty it's pretty bright and beautiful. Once they shed their skin, nice scaly. And All right. Here's the Louisiana milk snake. Okay, and see, see the coloration here. It almost looks like a coral snake, but it's not. Now this is a coral snake right here. Okay, so you see black goes first, then yellow, and then red. That's how you can tell with with the uh, most of the uh, coral snake species. This is a subspecies. This is from uh, Arizona. This one down here from Texas. Okay, they're cousins. Uh, this is the down at the bottom, the eastern coral snake. So you you can see the difference between this snake and this snake. There there are two 
different colorations and yet many people mistakenly kill them or whatever because of their coloration. Now the difference between the venomous snake patterns are like this. Okay. This this one up here is the timber rattlesnake. Look, look well, which we'll get into next week, but I don't want, I just want to show you the difference between non-venomous snake and venomous snake. Their pattern is pretty pretty amazing. Uh I love this pattern with the black tail. Don't confuse with the black tail uh rattlesnake which I'll get into. Uh this is the Arizona black rattlesnake right here. Love the love the coloration. This is the Mojave rattlesnake. The most lethal rattlesnake in the in the rattlesnake family has both Nero and human uh in um uh, hemotoxic venom. Uh, this is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, the largest rattlesnake species, or, yeah. Uh, the Pygmy, the Western Pygmy Rattlesnake, the Pygmies in general are the smallest of the rattlesnake family, and I love the coloration. This is the Prairie Rattlesnake right here. Beautiful coloration and patterns. Um, this is a southwestern spectacle uh, rattlesnake. Love, love the coloration right here. This is the molded rock rattlesnake. See how it blends into to into the rocky environment. That's how they catch their prey. That's how that's how they catch their prey. Um, we got the twin spotted raw snake, which is pretty interesting. Um, the Western Diamondback raw snake, the Carolina Pygmy raw snake, the Banded Rock raw snake, the Dusty Pygmy raw snake, um, the red diamondback rattlesnake. This this is a lot of rattlesnake species around here, or pit vipers, which I'll get into in a minute. Well, I'll get into next week rather. Some say the. Ooh, I didn't know that existed. Okay, the western farm mountain, the Florida farm mountain. Okay. Yeah. So that's all that I want to show you guys. Uh, th that that's how so important to really identify these different snake species from the non-venomous snake to the venomous snake. Because you can get confused like nobody business. Let's continue on. So the Asian pipe snake family. Um, th there's not much information that I can find, but there are some species that are around called the Burmese pipe snake, black pipe snakes, mud snakes, uh, belong to the species of banded water snakes, crab eating sn uh, water snakes, and stuff like that. Boa family, okay, we, we heard about these boa family, there's a lot of species of it there's a water python sorry python sorry the python family as you know um the, there is a spirit of python around uh just to let you guys know there's tree pythons there's indian pythons there's african rock python ball pythons if you heard that uh, they have in pet stores sometimes and uh, you can buy these snakes uh, the largest python in the python family is the reticulated python, uh, which sadly enough, many small children get eaten by the snake in southwestern part of Asia. It's sad to hear people are well, 
kids actually getting eaten by this snake uh, while they were asleep. So it, it's sad. It's very, very sad. But it happens. So that's all that I want to show you. There's blind snakes. There's all type of snakes. But so next week we're gonna get into venomous snake, which is my pretty much my uh, expertise, uh, including the rare fang snakes, which I'll include in in the next lecture or on this next teaching rather. So before we go. Let's go ahead and do communion. Now, I believe personally that I am a creationist that believes in the a biblical account of God's creation. And I am never be ashamed of it. Yes, I, I am an amateur scientist, an amateur professor, an amateur zoologist, an, an am, uh, the amateur um, herpetologist. Uh, you know, I'm a type 1 diabetic, but I'm not ashamed of Christ. I'm not ashamed of who I am, and I'm not ashamed for who, because Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. And God created all things, including rattlesnakes, including gardener snakes, uh, bull snakes, milk snakes, just to name a few. So, I sure I got my Bible with me. Um, yeah, hold on. Let me get one second. Let me go get my Bible really quick. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 28. And it reads, As they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed it, and broke it. I'm sorry, broke it. And gave it to the disciples, and says, Take, eat. This is my body. Okay. Then he took the cup. Um, after he gave thanks, gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. Take and drink. I hope you guys have a great week. God is good. Amen. So, I'll see you guys again next week with the with the final uh, with the final part of this mini series on serpentology. And I may do another Bible study series, but I'm I'm praying about it. I'm I'm seeking the Lord about it. Just just give, just give me some get give, give me some time. Amen. So may God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time. Mm -hmm.